Hi, this video is going to be for Gemini, a general love reading for Gemini for the month of July. Hi, Gemini. All right, so let's get started. We're reading from my Dragon Tarot, and then we're going on to my Romance Angels, my Love Oracle, and my Celebrations of Love deck. We'll be ending with this. Okay. All right, let's clear the deck. We're reading now for Gemini. I just read for Aries and Taurus. I need Gemini. And then I'll probably do one of my Patreon's readings. And I will call it a night. It's getting late. All right, so what does our beautiful Gemini need to know? What do our twins need to know right now about their love life for their highest good? What do our beautiful twins need to know right now about their love life for July for their highest good? You want me to... Shuffle one more time, Gemini. All right, what do we got for our Geminis? Reading now for Gemini. What do we got for our beautiful Geminis? All right, angels, archangels, spirit guides, higher self. Ooh, that card flew out, Gemini. You got a card that flipped but didn't come out, so we're not going to take that. Remember, we got to have the energy be strong enough that the card flies out. Okay, we got Four of Cups. So, let's get some more cards out. Ace of Cups. Damn. All right. Good. I can already feel your storyline coming out, Gemini. Can we get two more cards for... Dang it. Flew out again. Two more cards for Gemini. Three of Pentacles. Good, 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 good. King of Wands, there's that fire sign. Okay, so we got Four of Cups, Ace of Cups, Three of Pentacles, King of Wands. All right, so first off, there was this energy of balancing yourself out, Gemini. And we all know for Gemini that can be quite a <laughs> task because you are the twins, two, two separate entities, two separate energies, two different um, personalities. The Gemini is the twins, right? We all know that. So it took a bit of balancing. There was an energy of feeling fed up, tired, maybe not feeling so grateful about the things that were coming in in your love life. But here's the kicker. Once you shifted that energy, wowzers, what happened was quite a change, wasn't it? See, we got this energy of hmm, not feeling so great, not feeling so grateful, love life kind of meh. It's like this energy of whatever, I'm fed up, I don't give a crap. You know, a spirit's offering you all these things and you're going, oh, I don't know, but I want to just, uh. but you shifted it and look at what happened. And once you balanced that energy and you showed gratitude and gratefulness, you started to have hope. You were like, no matter what happens, I'm still going to hold on to this hope. I don't care. I still believe in the fairy tale ending. And look at what happened. That's what shifted everything. And you got the Ace of Cups, which is a brand spanking new, great, beautiful relationship, Gemini. Ace of Cups is a very beautiful new stable relationship okay it's the coupe de gras of love it is the it is the cup okay it's good all right three of pentacles um all right so this is a weird energy it feels a lot like there has been an imbalance in your work life which is causing you to feel a little bit tired. And maybe that's why you didn't put as much energy towards your love life. But I feel like that shifted. It's good. So you went for this energy of like, oh, I don't know if I have the energy to date anymore. I just don't care. I'm too tired. I'm working way too hard. Because see, pentacles is like, has to do with work. Three, there's not, there's more than two. So this would be balanced. This is an imbalance. So it's like, eh. I'm, I'm too tired to date, you know, whatever. So once you kind of gave up, I feel like that's when all of these beautiful things started coming in because the universe was like, oh, okay. She's a little bit fed up. 
So then they just like brought all the good things in. Also too, Three of Pentacles shows a strong foundation for a relationship. It's two people working together. It's the Three of Pentacles is the card of collaboration. It's two people coming together, working together, working together, okay? So it is a good partnership. It's two people who respect each, each other enough to go, hey, let's work together. I like what we're doing here, right? It's be, two people being on the same page. And you got King of Wands. So your person, no matter what sign they are, um, King of Wands is a fire energy. So no matter what, I don't care if your person is an earth sign. I don't care if they're an air sign. I don't care if they're a fire sign. For some of you, yes, it will be a fire sign. For some of you, this just represents your person is a very fiery, passionate person in the bedroom, in life in general. They might be very romantic. They're definitely very passionate. So they have a fiery something. It could be a fiery temper. It could be a fiery demeanor. It could just represent they're very passionate. Either way, it is fire. Okay? Um, it's someone who knows what they want and they go for it. King of Wands is big dick energy, basically. It is what it is. It's someone who sees what they want and they go for it. Big dick or big titty energy, whatever, however you want to look at it. <laughs> All right, so let's go on to your Romance Angels deck. All right, what do we got for our Geminis for the month of July? What do our Geminis need to know right now for their highest good? Angels, Archangels, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, and Higher Self. What do our beautiful Geminis need to know right now about their love life? For their highest good in the month of July. What do we got going on? They already want me to stop shuffling. Didn't seem like a lot, but the angels know what they're doing. What is that? Oh, I thought it was something. It's just, my hair is just shiny. I thought it was like a, something in my hair, like dandruff or something, but it's just shine. It's crazy. Look at that. It's just shiny. My hair is shiny. Oh, God. All right, we got playfulness. Nice. Can we get two more cards for our Geminis, please? It's getting hot. I turned my air off so you guys could hear me, and now I'm getting sweaty. Mm. All right, what do we got for our Geminis, please, for the month of July? Angels of Romance, what do we got for our Gemini? Or like we give you one card. Oh, where to go? Where to go? <laughs> it fell. All right, one more card, please. We got playfulness, finances, and career. What do you? Got? What is going on with all of these signs? You guys have finances and careers. It's like you're you're feeling like you guys are all feeling like you don't have enough money, so it's like affecting your love life. Why should your finances affect your love life? It makes no sense. Unless your person lives far away and you have to pay for them to come see you or something. Express your love. Okay, so we got playfulness. To recapture the romance, allow your inner youthful spirits of fun to shine. So for some of you Geminis, it's time to let that playfulness out. Go back to that feeling of being a kid. They're on the swing together. If you look at the card, it's a couple and they're on the swing. They're swinging together. It's that childlike innocence, that fun, being more playful and fun and flirty, bringing out that inner child is going to help your relationship to thrive. Your person might really like that childlike innocence that you have. They might see you as childlike and playful. They're, it brings out their fire. Sorry, I thought I heard one of my children. Okay, finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. See, finances are affecting your love life. I don't know. It might be affecting them in a good way. It might be affecting them in a bad way. Only you will know, Gemini. For some of you, 
it's affecting it negatively because you feel like you don't have enough. Therefore, you're stressed out about it. Therefore, it affects your libido. You can't do it. <laughs> For some of you, you might have an abundance of money. So therefore, you're able to give more to your partner. You're able to spend more money on them. You're able to take them out on dates and vacations and whatever. Y'all living the good life and stuff. <laughs> Okay, so, and then you got, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. All right, so now this is not saying if you're a Gemini female to end up in his inbox telling him how you feel. No, that's not what I'm saying. Don't do that. We don't want to end up with no, um, you know, fuck boy or an ex or anything like that. No, that's not, this is not, no, 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 no. That's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about is if you have an idea of who your person is and possibly if you're a Gemini male, I would say feel out the energy, read the room. If you feel like she's digging you, go for it. This is your green light, boo-boo. Now, if you are a Gemini female, it's a little bit different. We're not going to do that, right? Because we don't chase. We the flower. We wait for the bee to come. We, no, 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 no. We don't mess with all that shit. Okay. So if you're a Gemini female, okay, or just the more feminine energy in the relationship, what they're saying is go ahead and make the romantic gesture. They're saying you can go ahead and flirt with your partner. Let your partner know that, you know, you're feeling a certain way. Maybe give him the green lights, bat your eyelashes a little bit, let him know you're feeling him. It's thundering in here, thundering here. And at the bottom of the deck, you got, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love. So yes, they're saying it's safe. It's safe for you to love, Gemini. It is safe for you to love. Make that romantic gesture. By letting your partner know you open. And that's going to be different for everyone. You're, only you will know how to let your partner know that you open and you're ready. Okay? Alright, so we're going to go on to the love oracle. And we're going to finish with your celebration of love. I'm trying to keep all of these readings under 20 minutes. Because people like the short readings. They can get in and out. Get what they need to know. And move it right along. Because we're all too busy. Alright? Alright, what does our job and I need to know? About their love life for the month of July for their highest good. What do we need to know, spirits? Gemini. Reading for Gemini now. Reading for Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Reading for Gemini. For the month of July, please. What do we got? We got nothing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That card flew. We got two now. All right, hold on. Oh, gosh. We got player. Oof, we don't like to see that. We got addictions. Oh, no. All right, let's see if we can get two other cards that will help to explain why we got this energy. We got intuition. Can we get one more card, please? Whoa. Home. That flipped, but it didn't come out. But we'll take it. And we got grass is greener. Oh, I'm not liking this for you, Gemini. All right. So we got player. We got addictions. Intuition. Home. And the grass is greener. All right, so we have a lot of things going on. You just got, it is safe for you to love. So what's been happening with all of these readings, I just did Aries and I did Taurus. Now I'm doing Gemini. For some reason, I keep picking up on two different timelines, two different groups of people. Okay, so that's what could be what's going on right now. Right now, okay, so this is going to be different for all of you. For some of you, yes, you're dealing with a player and they have some kind of addictions. Now those addictions are going to be different for everyone. If this is for you, you'll know because it's going to resonate. I don't sugarcoat nothing. So if it's for you, you know that your person is acting funny. 
their secrets going on. They have problems with drugs in the past. Yes, they very well could be back into this energy again. Absolutely. And the next card you got is intuition. So you're going to have to use your intuition and decide, is this a red flag? If it is, nip it in the butt right now because it's not safe. If you use your intuition, it's like, mm, you know what? So for some of you, it could be this person used to be in this energy. They used to be a player or, for example, their ex was a player. That's why um, they are not with this person anymore. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be different for all of you. Um, it could have been they were a player. And then when they met you, you switched them up. They, you became their addiction. Okay? There is another storyline I'm getting. You're going to have to use your intuition. So for all of you, this is important. Intuition. If it feels off, leave it alone. If it doesn't, follow it, okay? If it feels good in your heart, keep going with it. For some of you, you guys are going to be moving in together. Home. You got home. For a lot of you, though, it feels like this person feels like home to you. You feel like home to them. There is an extreme feeling of comfort. If they were a player in the past, they met you. You changed them. You derailed them. You won their hearts. You became their addiction. And then they got in their feels about you. Their intuition told them you were the one because you felt like home. Get it? Right? Then you got grass is greener. So... Maybe in the past, they were a player. They felt like the grass was greener. And then when they met you, all of that changed. For some of you, though, the player card, the addiction card, grass is greener, red flags, all red flags. If this is for you and you know you've had a feeling your person was hiding stuff, there's your confirmation. They thought the grass was greener on the other side. They took that leap. And yes, they're a dirty dog. Time to leave, okay? For some of y'all, though, look, it's wedding. It's moving in together. That's what's on the bottom of the deck. So it's going to be different for all of you. There's two different energies coming out here, three. So take it as it resonates. Keep what, keep what resonates. Throw away what don't. A lot of different stories come up all the time when I do these readings because you know what? Um... I read for a lot of groups and a lot of different energy fields come in. So it's gonna not going to resonate with all of you, but it's going to resonate with a huge chunk of you. You're going to know what side of the coin you fall on. All right. Last cards for Gemini, for their love lay, for the month of July. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. It has been three beautiful readings. Aries, Taurus, Gemini. So pretty soon I will read for Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and Libra. All right, what does our beautiful Gemini's need to know right now for their highest good, for their love life for the month of, month of July? Spirit guides, ancestors, angels, and higher self. It has been a beautiful reading so far for all the signs. Thank you. Can we get one more, please? Looks like we got sharing. Something flipped, but it didn't come out. Sharing. Light priestess. Wowzers. So you definitely are a warrior of light, Gemini. And you got healing. Raphael, archangel of healing. Yes. So for some of you, you're getting into this new energy of sharing your light. Sharing your love. Letting your new found light of your heart light, your love, shining out you are a beacon of light for some of you it's a new spiritual awakening you're learning to shine your light by yourself it's beautiful see see how she's shining that light out of her hand she is a light priestess that's what it says She has crystals surrounding her. She's very, she has very elf-like qualities. And the moon is in the picture. So this, 
card represents the divine feminine in all her glory. The moon is the divine feminine, right? The moon is the divine feminine and the sun is the divine masculine, right? And we have healing. So you have significantly healed yourself, Gemini, in order to feel whole. And look what it's bringing in. All of this beautiful love. See, look, there's you and there's your higher self guiding you, holding you, keeping you safe, letting you know that you are on the right path. So no matter what, which cards pertain to you, whether or not your person is a player, whether or not they were in the past, you have this energy of protection. You are divinely guided and protected. So trust that whatever is happening right now is happening for your highest good. And it's going to propel you into better um, realms of love, bigger than you ever could have imagined, Gemini. Oh, I thought I heard the kids. I need you to turn down your headset, please, August. Okay? All right. We got sharing. I can hear it a little bit, so. This image celebrates the magic of myth and legend. We are called to dream how ancient thought forms rode the threads of time and are now woven into the beautiful tapestry of our human ancestry. Beautiful. Extend the magic of joy to a stranger. Go out of your way today to do something nice for someone, no matter how small it is, without expecting anything in return. Send them a blast of love from your heart and send it out through your smile and your eyes. Very fitting for you, Gemini. You are being inspired to break out of the cocoon of control that certain others have had over you. Send them love, joy, and blessings. You'll know who this is for. Have an inner dialogue with them, affirming that you choose to be free from their control, no matter how well intended it was meant to be. Offer gratitude for this lesson and be aware that you would never exercise this type of control over someone else either. Perfect. It was just 222. Two, two. Now it's 2222. Two, two. Wow. That is beautiful energy, Gemini. So much confirmation for you. All right, and then we got healing, and then we are going to call it a night. This image celebrates our body's ability to follow its divine blueprint to heal and make itself whole. It calls us to step aside and allow the divine to flood us with healing waters on a minute-to-minute -minute basis so that each cell in our body is as new and as pure as the creator intended. Focus on a different organ in your body for a week. Seek information about each organ to understand and marvel at how magnificent your body is. Flood each organ with gratitude, love, and appreciation for all that it does. Stay in that frame of mind for as long as you can. Your body wants you to pay more attention to it. You are being inspired to tune into its signals and address where you are being guided to give a little bit more care to that area. It's your earthly vehicle. Take care of it. So, Gemini, your body is asking you to please give it a little bit of extra love and affection. Now remember, how, however old you are, your body has carried you for that amount of years. So for some of you, it's a short amount of time. For some of you, it's a long amount of time. You know how old you are, Gemini's. Um, so give your body that gratitude. For me, I'm getting ready to be 41 on July 28th. So my body has given me this type of love and has stood strong for me for 41 years. I am extremely grateful I have, I have this energy and this beautiful body to carry me forth. You know, I don't have a perfect body. None of us do. And yet I find myself giving it more and more gratitude when before, when I was younger, I hated my body. I was always saying negative things about it. And now I'm at the point where I'm like, I love every single inch of me. This body is my vessel and it serves me well. And it has carried me through life with honor. And so therefore, I am grateful for every part of my body. 
I chose this body when I came to this earth and you chose yours too, Gemini. Be grateful that you have this beautiful vessel to experience this beautiful life on earth and give your body the extra love that it deserves for loving you and for caring for you this long. We wouldn't be alive if we didn't have our bodies. We wouldn't be able to move, to love, to dance, to make love, right? So give your body the extra love that it needs, Gemini. Your body deserves it and so do you. I love you. Bye.